I've experienced a lot of interesting Mandela effects. I never really made a video about it, not because it's not interesting, but because I, I didn't really know what to say, I didn't know what to make of it. Today is May 25th, 2016. So, these are two shapes. One is the outline of Alaska, the other one is the outline of Alaska that I remember. So let me ask you, uh, Alaska A, with the two bays on the western border, or Alaska B, with sort of just the one bay and uh, long Aleutian Island chain? Well, I remember Alaska B, and I was there not too long ago, I was looking at maps too. But it turns out I was incorrect, and it's Alaska A. Not trusting this completely, I went and looked up every kind of map I could find. Road maps, government maps, maps for sale, archive maps, pretty much everything. And all of them showed the geography of having that double bay western border and the uh, abbreviated Aleutian Island chain. And it wasn't just the case for Alaska, it was the case for several other states too, but uh, it just, you know, kind of baffled me. I mean, I've just seen it. What about the shape of New York? New York A or New York B? I remember New York B. And now it seems like it's only the right shape if you include the area in Lake Ontario. Speaking of Great Lakes area, what about Pennsylvania A or B? I remembered Pennsylvania A, specifically the little chimney of land uh, was more than just that little step area. Ohio A or Ohio B? I remember it being more like Ohio B. But none of these stood out quite as much as Alaska did for me. I mean, the shape of Alaska, particularly the Aleutian Island chain, it sticks out as Alaska B, and the history of maps is not something that is so easily changeable. Now, no examination into the Mandela effect is complete without a look into the Berenstein Bears. And a lot of uh, people who would deny the Mandela effect existing outside of it being a memory fluke say that it's a confabulation, that the uh, A or the E in the uh, last part of Berenstain Bears, or Berenstain Bears, is misremembered to be an E. And I looked at a friend's books, uh, their kids' books, old pictures. They all say Berenstain Bears. I know in my case it can't be memory confabulation because I have a really specific memory tied into it called the Berenstain Wars of the 1980s. So I grew up speaking Mandarin. I didn't speak any English, and because my parents didn't want me to have any language disadvantages, they went to the public library a lot and checked out every book they can get their hands on. So I ended up reading a lot of books, and uh, one of the ones that my mom discovered that I really liked were the Berenstein Bears. And we did actually have a controversy in my house about how to pronounce the name. Only the controversy was whether to pronounce them the Berenstein Bears or the Berenstein Bears. Mom called them Berenstein, and Dad called them Berenstein. I think he had somebody at work, a co-worker with the name of Steinbach or something. <clears throat> and for months, we would argue. The family split down the middle and uh, it would flare up all these Berenstein versus Berenstein arguments until one day this uh, local family store opened up and they aired some commercials and the name was spelled S-C-H-O-T-T-E-N-S-T-E-I-N-S -T -T -E -E and there we had it. It was spelled with the exact same ending as the Berenstein or Stein Bears and they pronounced it Schottensteins. So I remember that resolved all of the conflict and it was decreed in the household that it was Berenstein Bears. So yes, I did have some memory about it being pronounced possibly differently, but it was definitely an E at the end. And so, who remembers Michigan as being a mitt? And 
now it's well connected apparently to Canada. I remember it being a very narrow border around the Detroit area. What about the Upper Peninsula of Michigan? Remember when it was actually a peninsula? Now it's barely got this little bit of water going through, but it's largely connected to Canada. Norway, to me, looks comically narrow. It used to occupy a lot more land. There used to be more land there. There's also a large island in the north of it called Svalbard that I don't remember. But I don't know the geography of that area terribly well. The Tyrrhenian Sea. It used to not be a subset of the Mediterranean. That used to all be the Mediterranean Sea. I've never heard of the Tyrrhenian Sea. Baja California used to be a single state. Now it's two states. There's Baja California and Baja California South, sir. There were some additional changes to our northern neighbor, Canada. The province of Nunavut. It didn't exist before. And then going back down to Mexico, all of the Yucatan Peninsula used to be the state of Yucatan. And now there's another state called Quintana Roo. That's a new one to me too. So let me know uh, in the comments whether you guys have similar effects or something different, particularly around geography. Take care.